Raise your hand if you've ever wanted to try something, but you didn't, because you were too afraid of not being good enough. Same. Now raise your hand if someone has ever said something that has brought you down. Same. <laughs> raise your hand if you've thought about changing a part of yourself for another's approval. Thank you. If you raised your hand, I'm confident that each of you have experienced at least one moment of insecurity in your life. Now raise your hand if you've ever felt alone in that insecurity. Take a look around. And you can see how our solitary islands form an archipelago. How is there such a vast ocean between our lands when we all share the same horizon? Yet it's those stormy, cloudy days that make us feel like the ocean between us is too vast to swim across. It's those same stormy days that can tear apart all that is blossoming within us. But we all share the same stars in the sky. And when you don't take the plunge, you'll never know what their blossoms are like. Instead of hoping that the thunder strikes them back, sharing our plants makes the all of us thrive. Without confidence, we are all lost. But it's not suddenly found like a treasure chest. It is grown and nurtured like the plants in the gardens of our hearts. Your arms are as hairy as a monkey. Eat more, you're too skinny. Comments carelessly tossed away like the flick of a cigarette butt. But even a small flame can turn into a wildfire. As I watched my island go up in flames, I saw how easy it was to burn down a forest that took years for me to grow. And when I looked in the mirror, my reflection began to shatter, each shard containing a piece of my dignity, my hope. Like the needle of my sewing machine, years flew by, and with each stitch, I felt that I didn't belong. So I made my clothes blend in with my scenery. My passion for art slowly began to fade into the background of my mind's canvas. I'm not an artist, I told myself. In eighth grade, my mom and I started a pact to donate our hair, to share our garden with those who needed it, clipping a few of our, our flowers so cancer patients could have their own. And then I saw a Balinese woman driving the motorbike, and her hair was so long, it flew like a scarf in the wind and an idea bloomed in my head, and it filled my garden with its sweet aroma of hope. That's when Hair for Hope was born, or Rambut Untuk Harapan in Indonesian, the first organization in Indonesia to donate wigs to people with cancer. This was my chance to give others the confidence I so desperately desired. Yet stormy thoughts clouded my vision while watering others' gardens. Sometimes, I forgot about my own. I feared being different or being the hair girl. Yet before my eyes, I watched as that idea I planted began to flourish. Four years later, Hair for Hope has donated more than 50 wigs, been featured in five local news outlets, and received thousands of hair donations from all over Indonesia. <laughs> Embraced by others, I watched as Hair for Hope began to thread together islands that seemed to be surrounded by nothing but sea, including my own. Hair for Hope is a vessel it holds all that is broken. It brings together all that is good. It cares for those who need and for those who need to help. Not just for me to know that I can make a change, but for each donor to know that they can too. Hair for Hope is a vessel to see a glimmer in one's eye or a smile spread across a face. Hair for Hope is a vessel. And it's not always the good days. 
when I don't see the glimmer or I don't see the smile. I remember what my dad told me when he was once the only one there for his girlfriend with cancer. Everyone, he said, fights their battles in their own way. Hair for Hope is a vessel, and if Hair for Hope can be a glimmer, and if a wig can simply be an arrow or a pinprick that breaks through the surface of suffering, that is enough. Hair for Hope is more than a vessel. It is more than a shield. It's a vehicle carrying a message of strength. Hair for Hope is a sewing machine, a needle piercing through fabric, turning someone into themselves again. Hair for Hope is an instrument. The sound of a laugh is just as beautiful as a melody, an instrument that can soften delicately or pierce through a heavy burden. Hair for Hope was that star that brought together our archipelago, Indonesia. And now that I could see all the islands, I realized that I was in fact not alone. Igniting others, not with fire, but with belonging and purpose. And suddenly, I found a treasure chest within others. With this discovery, I could turn the stars in my head into the stars of the sky. Weaving the fabric of my identity with my hands, I began to feel self-assured by my own drapery. I sewed the fabric of my identity with rhinestones and lace and cowboy boots. And when I looked in the mirror, I began to see a garden. Like each tree, like each tree, each plant, each leaf even, nature grows, it lives, it has its place, and it dies. But the beauty is that the death of one plant leads to the life of another. We all get it. The life cycle, we go to green school. It's so simple. Yet look at us. We are so detached. Even though we are born, we live, we have our place, and we die. No matter what one says, we take and we take. But we are meant to take and give back like the breath from our lungs. So I invite you all to take two breaths together. The life cycle wouldn't be the life cycle if once a plant died, it never regrew again. Because a garden can't just grow forever. It's okay for parts of us to die and regrow in new ways. Even the mightiest of forests turn their brown to green. This is what one gardener once showed me. This gardener with hands of magic. This gardener who could turn a seed into a willow. Because when a willow branch is planted, a new life grows from within. This gardener who would part oceans just to walk to the other side. This guard not to drown others, but to create a highway. This gardener is Ibu Sari. If you ever wish to see an angel, and if you have the privilege of meeting Ibu Sari, you will know that you have met a goddess. In 2014, Ibu Sari started Kim's Women's Center, now PKP Community Center a safe haven for survivors of domestic violence. Ibu Sari showed that even in a desert, a forest can grow. Working with Shindi and Ibu Ari from PKP, we wanted to sow others a garden. Just like Hair for Hope, I found treasure in the trash can. Just like those hair cuttings, just like those brown fallen leaves, just like how some of the most beautiful of flowers can grow in the most barren of soil. Denim scraps, sewn together to make something beautiful out of something torn apart. This is zero threads. Zero is a number that symbolizes everything and nothing at the same time. Zero threads wasted, 
but with acknowledgement of every thread used. Just like Hair for Hope or each of our journeys, everything is a part of something greater and finds its purpose once again. It's like throwing a pebble into the water. It might seem insignificant in an ocean so vast, but each ripple goes infinitely further. To continue Hair for Hope's legacy, when you wear one of my garments, instead of the glass shattering, it smiles back. And when Shindy holds her sewing needle in her hand, instead of it snapping, she watches as it sews her first pair of pants, and she smiles back. And when the donations from the clothing line go back to Hair for Hope, each cancer patient receiving a wig smiles back with confidence. To continue Hair for Hope's legacy, I created a Yayasan by doing a fundraiser. magic in the air, the world has come alive, and when I see you, you make my pulse rise, I never knew that I could be so hypnotized, there's something nearly your touch, baby, the way your body's moving me, and I don't know where this soul will go, oh, nobody knows, I'll, I'll know where it is to my life. If I don't try now, the chance will slip away I'll bury all my doubts and I won't be afraid There's something I could never see Now my heart is open and I believe And I don't know where this soul will go Oh, nobody knows oh, I'll, I'll know where it gets to my life You walked in, let you open my My fundraiser let me walk on water. I had thrown my stone, and now I could finally see how far each ripple really flowed. I could finally see how that seed I once planted, that seed that filled my nose with its fragrant aroma of hope, flourish into one of the most beautiful gardens I've ever seen. Confidence is a journey, but there's not just one answer. But there's one thing I know for sure. Confidence is not found like a treasure chest. It is grown and nurtured like a garden. And if it is a treasure chest, it's found buried in the sands of other islands. So if you feel your plants start to wither, just remember that like a forest, even the mightiest of forests turn brown. And like nature, Parts of us can fade, but they will always regrow again in new and beautiful ways. Like Hair for Hope, or Zero Threads, or whatever you choose to do in your life, everything great is created alongside the hands of others. Because you are not just an island. Remember all those hands raised in the beginning? We are an archipelago. So whatever happens, just remember that you are not alone. All you have to do is swim to the other side. Each one of you has the power to plant a seed. Each one of you has the power to make somebody else blossom. And sometimes 
That's all it takes. So the next time you look in the mirror, you might just see a garden. Thank you.